نحمده و نسلی علی رسول کریم اما بعد ربی شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و حلو الاقتد من لسانی یفقو قولی و ربنا زدنا علما اللهم فقهنا فی الدین السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ الحمدللہ we started doing translation and discussion on سورہ عصر since last two classes we talked about what does word asr mean it means time the time that is running out then we talked about why is everybody at loss are the humans at lost at loss and even those who have gained so much are they even at loss and then we said that yes no matter what we have gained one thing that everybody is losing is time and Next class, we basically discussed the four things that we need to do in order to be not at loss. So in order to get out of that state of loss, four things need to be done. And we just discussed the, I think the first one where we said that number one is those who believed and then we talked about what does it mean by believing what exactly do we need to believe okay anyone want to volunteer to just give me a high level summary of what we discussed last time alladina amanu those who believed shees you remember anything I'm I'm trying to remember like the whole thing. I have just I just. Mm hmm. Okay. In IR Sefula, were you there? Uh, we we missed um the last few lessons because we were busy and we haven't really had the chance to catch up yet with the videos. Okay. Okay. No worries. Riz, you were there, right? Yeah, I'm also trying to remember. Okay, so um, what we talked about is basically the Iman, the belief that all the Muslims should have. Allah remain, made it open-ended. He did not say just believe in Allah or, you know, believe in books. Allah said, believe, those who believe. So when something is open-ended, it means everything. Everything that comes under that circle under that you know criteria so our belief system is what we believe in allah we believe in angels we believe in the day of judgment the prophets and the books these are our belief belief system we believe in all those things and we also talked about the logicals the allah gave us logical reasons to believe in those things Allah gave us logic to believe in Allah. Allah gave us logic to believe in Allah's book, the Quran. Allah believe, gave us logic to believe in the Prophet, especially Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And when we believe in all those things, that yes, the logic that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala gave us is perfect, and I agree, my mind agrees to this logic, then we declare that Allah is our Creator. And we are his slaves. And then after that, the slaves don't question. You know, once you agree that Allah is the creator and you believe in that, then we don't question Allah in what? In the deeds, in the, in the matter of deeds. That comes our next step, which is number two, people who did good deeds. Wa'amilu salihat. Wa'amilu means and they did so Ali had good deeds. Okay, so one thing before we start off by talking about um, uh, just a word about this word, amal. So ayn la, mean lam. This is a word which means to do. Just give me one second. It's happening. Something has happened here. Okay, cool. So we have 
this word amilu which means to do so word amal and there is another word which is faala that also means to do both these words means to do what is the difference between doing an amal and doing a fail okay i am doing an amal and i am doing a fail so there are two ways you can do things one are the things like i do like i'm walking i woke up that's a thing that i did you know i woke up in the morning i got up i i'm just you know walking or i'm talking or i'm running or i'm you know probably eating as well but yeah those things are the things that i just do it without thinking those are my faala where i don't do any conscious thing there's no conscious involved there's no thinking involved there is no intention involved but amal is different amal is something that you do with your conscious when you do something knowingly or you do something with an with an intention why i am doing this got the difference yes easy okay cool so amal is so the good deeds the word faala cannot come with good deeds good deeds are supposed to be done with what intention not just you know i just did it you know sometimes kids say why did you do this and they're going to say i don't know or the best answer i've seen kids giving is why did you do that because i can you know so you don't do things just because you can good deeds are the deeds that we do intentionally we we are supposed to have an intention and what is our intention what the intention is supposed to be yes anyone can you repeat the question please intention when we are doing something the difference between doing anything like for example i am just walking i'm just walking because you know i just have to but if i'm doing something good i need to back it up with intention what is intention it's uh, like the definition of intention mm -hmm. is like um it's like intended to do something it's like a plan hmm okay yes she is intention is like where you have a clear goal to do something mm -hmm. like uh, for example uh your intention is to help every like a uh, help out the people in need that's mm -hmm. like a intention you can have okay let me take it forward you would like to help somebody in need that is the good deed that is not the intention what could be the intention for helping somebody why would you want to help somebody in need that is your intention so what would be your intention to help somebody who is in need uh would it be like doing it for the good will of others say that again i can't hear you i said is it doing it for like the good of others not just doing it cuz like everybody's watching but because yeah. you're preparing you're doing it for other right. people yes yeah that that's right so yeah that's where i'm trying to bring you all of you to what could be a good or a bad intention because there has to be a why it's okay we do things a lot but you know we there is a difference between us humans because allah talked about insan here right although if you if you think about it even animals are at loss right they are also losing time 
but they cannot do amal salihat. Why? Because they don't know the why of what they do things for. Even if they are doing a good deed, which is saving somebody's life, for example, protecting their own kids, all animals do that. They still don't know the why. Why do they do this? It's just because it's there in their nature. They just do it because that's how they're being created. But humans are different. Why? Because we are supposed to know Allah has given us brain. Allah has given us this thought process where before we do anything, we are able to think, why am I doing this? You came to this class today. Why did, why did you come to this class today? Inaya? So you came to this class today, right? Come on, unmute yourself. I want to hear you. Yeah, keep keep yourself unmute for a minute, okay? Yes. So you came to this class. Why? Did you have a why before you, you came to this class? To learn. To learn. Okay. Okay, that's that's a decent thing but did you consciously think about why am i coming today or it's just because mom said so you can be honest here that's fine yeah yeah you did not right you may not have right and that's fine that's fine that's exactly why we are here that's exactly what we are learning here that what is okay and what we should not be doing there's always a first step in learning right so when we do something as Muslims, we consciously think about why are we doing that? Raise your, raise your hand. You want to say something, Riz? No? Okay. So, so the point is that we don't do things just because we are not thinking about it or we just do it. If we do that, the good deed may not be as good. All deeds depend on their intention. That's where we started our lesson the first time when we met. That's where we started off. Every deed depends on its intentions. So when we do amal, the word amal right here, that means we did this by thinking, why are we doing this? Okay, another point that I think I even asked you last time when we met was, can somebody who does, who has Iman, who's a Muslim, right? A person who's a Muslim has Iman, he believes in Allah, right? And he does not do good deeds. Can he be successful? Yes or no? No. No? Okay. No. Can, some, can somebody who does not believe in Allah, but does a lot of good deeds, can he be successful? It depends. Say that again, I can hear you. I, I think it can depend on like, on like, Okay. Uh, because he can be like so, so, um, he cannot be like he cannot he that person may not believe in Allah, but okay. he can be like successful Bye. in this world by like he, if he does like good deeds every day and helps others in need, he can he can be successful in this world, but not the world after. So mm -hmm. so that's like my. Yeah, so in this world, even those people who never did any good deed in their life, even Allah can bless them with a lot of money and a lot of success. Success is not really defined by how much you have. That's the thing. That's not what how Quran defines success. Quran defines success as the success in the next life. 
right? That's what the real success is. No matter how much you have in this world or you don't have in this world, it doesn't define anything. It doesn't really prove anything. You can be the best person on earth, but may not have anything in this world. And you could be the worst person on this earth and have everything, you know? And it's not even, you cannot even judge people like that. Oh, this person does not have anything. So that might be a bad person. No, not necessary. We don't know that. So if Allah has given us in this world, thank you, Allah. But it doesn't, it doesn't prove anything. Success is what is in the next life. So again, same question. If somebody has does a lot of good deeds, but without Iman, minus Iman, can that person be successful? Riz, you're raising your hand. No, that was an answer. Can you repeat the question? Somebody who has, who does a lot of good deeds, yes. but does not believe, does not have belief, can that person be successful? Uh, well, you just said that, like, oh, not just now, but in one of our previous mm -hmm. things, you yes. said that um, to get to Jannah, you have to have belief as one of the three things. Mm -hmm. So, and you just said that the Quran defines your success. So if you don't have any belief, I mean... That probably means you want to be successful. Yes. So that's very good. And the thing is that we need to understand that. I mean, it's okay for, for your teacher to just tell you, hey, if you're not a Muslim, no matter how many good deeds you do, you still cannot be successful. And you might just believe your teacher and you grow up like that. You know, eventually you you'll just this thing is going to remain in your mind that we need to have Iman and we need to do good deeds. But the thing is, at this very time, when, you're, when you are ready to understand Quran, you need to understand why. Why is that so? Why belief is important with good deeds? Why not just good deeds? And that comes back to this word that I circled, Amilu. Intention. If somebody did not even have any intention when he was doing a good deed, then why would he even expect a reward? So somebody who believes in the day of judgment, when he does something good, his intention is he wants reward on the day of judgment because that's what his belief is. He believes that Allah will reward. I give charity. I know that Allah is Allah can multiply my charity seven times and give it to, back to me on the day of judgment. I pray, I have a belief that Allah is going to question me on the day of judgment and I don't want to be embarrassed in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment. So I pray five times. That's my belief. If somebody who does not even believe in day of judgment, if he gives charity, what could be the reason for that person to give charity? Why would he do that? Yes, Riz? Okay, two reasons. Mm -hmm. One, the person could actually be caring, mm -hmm. but they don't have belief, mm -hmm. or they're just doing it to show off. Yeah, so caring, even if you say, okay, they want to share, but that's fine. The, that person is caring, but what do they want in return? You know, everybody wants something in return, even if it is a little bit of praise, right? People do want something or, okay, they don't want praise. They want their personal satisfaction. I want to be satisfied. I did something. I made a difference in the world. So they get what? They get satisfaction in their heart. They get a peaceful heart. That's why a lot of people do these things because they want to be peaceful. They want to feel good, right? That's one, just like you said, they're caring, right? So they want to feel good, right? About their good deeds. Number two, just like you said, 
they want to show off which means they want praise from people some people even want their names written where they give charity to you know in hospitals they want their names to be there so the question is these are the two intentions that we thought right feel good or popularity right don't they get it when they do a good deed they get it right it's yeah. done they already got the reward that they wanted somebody who wanted reward as in form of praise they got it so what's the point getting reward on the day of judgment when they did not even believe in day of judgment in the first place absolutely no point they never asked for it right so when we do something when we do a good deed and we have an intention that we want reward in the day of judgment only then allah is going to reward us on the day of judgment and bonus point is we will get that feeling of goodness and happiness just by virtue of it even if we did not ask for it allah will still give us that as well that is the blessing of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is the blessing of being a muslim and having a belief in allah that we did it for akhirah we did it for the day of judgment we did it for allah but allah still gave us reward in this dunya allah did not take that away that is the blessing for those who believe okay so that is um probably what about okay another question about i think i did ask this question even last time as well what exactly is a good deed i mean it's easier to say right you know we we can read this uh, surah so many times those who believe and they did good deeds okay we're going to but until unless and until we know what exactly is good deed how are we going to practice it yes riz um i think one uh, of the answers that i given last time was um it's a, it's like a small favor or it's not, it's like not just a small it could be any kind of favor mm -hmm. like giving water sharpening a pencil mm -hmm. you know doing chores stuff like that yeah okay yeah that's right okay you remember from surah maun that we talked about that uh, small favors yes okay yes she's you want to um, add good yeah a good deed can also be something that eases someone else's problems someone's uh, yeah yeah okay yeah absolutely those are and and just like i think even i said last time those are the examples of good deeds that you guys are giving me i mean i can think of so many examples of good deeds i mean they are all scattered like there's so much that can be done we can spend our entire life you know doing and you know they are just right in front of us saying bismillah is a good deed reading quran is a good deed praying is a good deed right then helping charity i mean there are like so much we can spend our entire day in thinking what is a good deed but what is the rule main rule for what is a good deed and what is not a good deed because you know as i've said many times people disagree on that people have disagreements they think that somebody for somebody that could be a good deed and for others it may not be for example something that is not halal for us you know and your non muslim friend okay let me give you an example of like for example a celebration somebody uh, a non muslim is celebrating some event and uh you join them thinking that oh it's good to be um with the neighbors and everything that was something if they were practicing shirk they were practicing you know um associating partners with allah or they were actually uh worshiping their gods during that ceremony 
and we became part of it just because we wanted to be out with our neighbors, that may not be that a good deed, although we wanted it to be a good deed. So, I mean, that's just a vague example, not exact, but yeah, it happens that sometimes there are things that may not be, for some people, it may not be good. So the answer to this is, for us, we believe the good deeds are what Allah has defined as good deeds. What deeds that we do in order to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those are the good deeds comes back to the same point that we started off with, intention. If your intention is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even if it's just a smile that you give to other person, that's a good deed. You really don't have to climb a mountain to do a good deed. It's all the intention that matters. Even if you are sleeping in order to get up for Fajr prayer, your sleeping is a good deed because you're resting so you can get up fresh in the morning and start a new day and you can be thankful to Allah. So you, the examples that, I mean, you guys gave me about good deed are, you know, they're really, okay, exactly what people define as good deed. But have you ever thought that sleeping could be a good deed? Yeah. I mean, that... That's a huge blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you think about it that way. Who else gives, you know, rewards just like that? Rewards for sleeping. Well, now that I think about it, like what the um, definition it mm -hmm. could be because um, yeah. you're waking up for fajr, which is yeah. Mm -hmm. boots, but yeah. 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 Just Hearing somebody out, for example, somebody wants to talk and you just heard that person. Calling your friends or family can be a good deed. Those things we don't even consider as good deeds. Things that we consider as obligation can become a good deed only if we do it with the, for the right reasons. And the right reason is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So everything, our entire life can become a good deed. Only if we get our intentions right. Remember that this, I think I've repeated it previously as well. And I'm going to repeat this for as many times as possible because all a Muslim needs to do is intention. We need to have the correct intention and everything that we do, whether we go to school, we work, we're tying our shoes, we're eating, everything can become a good deed. It's so amazing. We cannot even know how easy it is. But the important thing is keep renewing our intentions. Because intentions sometimes get lost. We forget our intentions. That happens. We forget why we are doing this. Take my example, you know. Sometimes, you know, I do it. I teach you people. But if I, if I keep thinking that, oh, somebody praised it was an amazing class. Now I want, you know, praise. If my intention gets corrupted and I think about today, nobody praised me. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was never my intention. I never wanted praise. So intentions need to be renewed every time. That is important. All right. So inshallah, I'm going to end this class here. Tomorrow we are going to talk about watawasaw uh, bilhaqi and watawasaw bil sabr. Keep these things in mind, inshallah. I'm going to ask for a high-level summary, and then we're going to go to uh, the last two points that we need to become successful. All right. Jazakallahu khairan. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika. Nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta. Subhanaka. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.